Early this morning, an Albuquerque family got a disturbing wake up call when a man drove his truck into their home. He's now in police custody. The family says the truck landed on top of their daughter's bed. But as KOAT Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton explains, she miraculously wasn't sleeping there last night. Drills, hammers, and saws were busy putting this Northeast Albuquerque home back together today after a man drove his truck through it this morning. We were inside the house and we heard a big bang. He had to have gone at least five, six feet up in the air. The crash woke up neighbors who saw the driver walking away from the scene. They followed him until Albuquerque police showed up. 31 year old Bevel Duval is now in police custody at University of New Mexico Hospital. APD says he'll soon be charged with aggravated DUI and driving with an open container. This is ridiculous. If it keeps going, somebody's going to get killed. But the aftermath weighs on homeowner Laura Martinez. This is the second time a car has struck her family's home. Take a look at these pictures from 2010. If you can't go to bed and not expect a car to come through your house, it, you're not going to feel safe. But here's the hardest thing for the Martinez family to digest. The truck actually landed inside their daughter's bedroom on top of the bed she sleeps in every night. Thankfully, she was at her grandmother's house. I was pretty upset and crying, and it's a lot to realize you could have lost somebody. Police say a neighbor's house has also been struck by a car twice in the last five years. When the Martinez family is done picking up the pieces of their home, they say they're headed to the city council to plead for help. In Northeast Albuquerque, Matt Howerton. KUAT Action 7 News. Wow, we reached out to the city of Albuquerque to see what the Martinez family could do to protect their home, but no one has returned our calls. New at 6, Albuquerque Police.